This is hydrogen tap. What you're looking at is a new modification to the focus cell. And I'll show you how it works. It's very simple. Focus cell is constructed so it goes up and down. It's mounted up and down. This new modification allows you to run the cell so it's on its side. I'll show you how that works and we're going to put it together right here first. So I've got a number of people asking how the cell is constructed. These are nylon screws here and each one is spaced an eighth of an inch apart. Each plate is spaced an eighth of an inch apart. A blank plate to put in there. Incidentally, these are sixteenths of an inch each. I do this on purpose so that you can take the spacers apart if you want it a sixteenth of an inch. I do not advise it, it's too close. Then the electrode plate is put in there. Spacers. Another blank plate. Spacers. Electrode plate. Electrodes. Spacers. Another blank plate, spacers, of course you can always fast forward this, electrode plate, spacers, Another blank plate, spacer, retro plate. The retro plate is the one that has the fitting for the electro to go through it. Spacers, another blank plate, spacers, this was the focus that was in my Honda, and finally the last electrode plate. In this case, it's the end plate. Put this on here like so. It's easy when you know how to do it, right? It's a year and a half worth of work. And So like so. You can see the nice and even spacing. It's eighth of an inch apart. Also you can see the new modification. One on each end which allows you to now turn this on its side like so. Put the electrodes through here, mount it from the top, and you've got it made. The next step in the focus cell is to put the electrode through it 
and we also have the spacers that go in there. These are stainless steel. So what we're going to do is put the electrode through like this. Get in front of the camera here. Goes like that. These are machined. When I started out, I had to do this by hand. And it goes in like that. The spacers are not the same size as the screw. They're not a quarter inch. The screws or the electrodes are a quarter inch. It's done deliberately so in case you have a miss fit here of any sort you don't have to worry about it. And since they fit nice and snug it doesn't matter anyway. The other thing is in case you want to drill these out and make bigger holes you can do that. Everything's done so that you can modify. Goes like this. By the way, if you're thinking of making one of these, I'm telling you, it's going to cost you some money. When you first start out, it seems like it'll be cheaper, but believe me, the price on the focus cell is pretty cheap. By the time you go finding all the parts and cutting everything, which is a pain in the neck. You're going to find it's cheaper to buy the Focus. And now you can see there's three plates here, three plates on the top. This is the energy plate, the electrodes, so they all get energy this way, energy plate over here, which comes down to here. So you can follow this around to this point here which gives the energy that way. So now I've got a focus cell, same focus cell with the ability now to sit on its side. I'll have pictures of this on the site hydrogentap.com very shortly. I'll have this cell by itself in with a acrylic case for it. This will the acrylic case is definitely going to cost more. It's a lot a, a lot more trouble putting it together as you can imagine. So the first thing that will go up is the cell. So this is the focus L for length. And uh, that's the modification. It's the same focus cell. There's another good feature for putting it like this. You could stack your plates this way and make a real long focus system. The focus has got, as you saw, it's got every other plate is a blank plate. There are 11 plates, so that's three positive, three negatives, and the rest are blanks. Nylon screws, nylon nut, stainless steel nut, stainless steel screw, and of course the stainless steel plates. This is the cell that was in the Honda that I'm still upgrading. You can find pictures of that on hydrogentap.com. Also, if you want to email me, you can email me at johnarons at hydrogentap.com. I'd be glad to hear from you. Please make your emails short. I get about five emails an hour, plus the comment files on over 300 
YouTube videos. Again, that's hydrogentap.com if you want to see this. Or you can email me at johnarons at hydrogentap.com.